Welcome back to the channel. And today's video is about finalizing the T72 build that we've been doing for the Iraqi army. And first of all, cut out some crew. I've cut some crew out because we're just speeding up the, the process a bit, but I'll show you what I do. I just, so they've been just been primed in that primary color we did the tanks. So um, when we painted that yellow onto them with the spray paint, I, I did the crew. So it's one of the previous videos. And then I just cut them out. So I just pick one of the guys I want cut them out just be careful cutting across the top of their heads and then uh, tidy up any bits like there's a little bit of um, flashing down the top of his head and just underneath them so get them tidied up and I'll put him aside and then I'll base them on something so I can hold it here we just got a, a lid from a container an old container I put two crew on there and I've mounted one in the vehicle already so we can have a quick look at what it looks like. So the first colour I'll use is doing the flesh and that's tan yellow. So you can use any, you can use flesh colour, you can use whatever you want. I go something just a little bit darker. So you can see it, I've put it on the guy on the left there and we'll just do this guy on the right. So the brush I'm using is the 5-0 and I'll just paint his face and um, hands or hand so you can only see part of him so part of his um, body you can only see one hand so I just get some paint on their faces like that try not to put too much on there it will dry all right and this other guy needs a little bit more so once I get that done for the crew then I'll move on to the, the helmets. I'll just quickly wash that brush out. I'm still using the 5-0 brush, exactly the same. I just rinse it out in a bit of water, dry it off on a bit of paper towel if you need to. For the helmets, I'll use black gray for the um, tank crew helmets. So once again, that I'm just putting a drop of it because I don't need much. Shakes. Uh, sometimes I just put it on the table just to steady the steady the item I'm holding. It just makes it a bit easier. Yep, don't do that. So just get that on the on the helmet, on the tank helmet. Then rinse the brush out again. So obviously I'm painting two, but I've got three done because one's in the tank because we'll just have a quick look at that. The next color I'll use is, where is it? Russian uniform, World War II, Russian uniform World War II. And what I do with that is just anything they might be holding in their hands, um, some figures have binoculars sometimes, depends on what battlefront's done with their, their figures. And this guy's just holding the internal communications uh, system like a, like a tannoy in the tank. So I just put a little bit of green on that. You probably won't see it, but um, I don't know what's done. So, yeah. So anything like that, any binoculars or anything they might be holding, I'll do that. And then I've also got red and I'll bring up this tank. And the reason I've done uh, picked red is because I painted the tank commander's epilepsy in this tank with that red. And that way when I mount the crew in the tanks, and we'll have a look at this in a second when I mount them, is I find that that can be the commander's vehicle. He's got the red epilepsy, the other guys won't. So you can identify him as the, I guess, the headquarters vehicle or, you know, the captain, lieutenant, sergeant, you know, corporal, whoever's in sort of charge of the, the group of tanks. So that's why I do that. Now the last, the last thing I'll do is I'll change 
brushes and I'm just going to that number zero brush and I'm going to get out the where's it going uh, lost it I'm going to use that ordnance shade just to do some shading on the on the crew so it can be done while they're not mounted like while they're not in the vehicles in the vehicles. so yeah that sorry ordnance shade on this one and I'll pick up the crew and I just go across them just to highlight a couple lines in the uniforms and across their faces I mean it doesn't hurt to let that paint really really dry first yeah it just gives them a little bit of depth to their uniforms and the way they look across their backs and the guy in the turret here that we that I've already mounted so we'll mount one of these guys and then I'll quickly rinse that brush out and then we'll sort of call this this little um, tank build done so to mount them in the vehicles I'm going to use uh, super glue I'm not going to use that mr. cement glue this one which I use to actually assemble the, the the vehicles because I want something that's really going to bond and bite through any paint and I don't think this mr. cement's really designed to that sort of plastic on plastic so all I do is just get the tank. I'll just put a drop of super glue in that turret. I'll pick one of the, the crew. I, I normally let these guys dry for a little bit longer too. I, I, I'm doing this for the video, that not letting them dry for sort of 10, 15 minutes. And then I'll just place him into the tank. You know, tweezers are always good, aren't they? Um, what I'm saying is I should have used tweezers and just play around with him a bit till you're happy and then he's mounted in the tank and I'll go and do that with the the other the other guy and that wraps up the build and the next video will actually be looking at them completed on a little turntable of Orton and try that out and then after that we'll start the Lav 25 build. Thanks for watching.